Oh, today uh, we will be making some rosehip tea. But first, the intro. Look, a beaver was here. Maybe it was Justin. <laughs> yeah. I need something to drink. 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 Something to drink. Yeah. Here we have them. You know, rose hips they grow almost everywhere in uh, hedges, schoolyards, and here out in the wild. So uh, let's pick some of them. You gotta be careful though, you got thorns. I forgot my knife, so uh, I take them apart by hand. And all those leaves and um, seeds doesn't matter because uh, I will pour it through a strainer. Anyway, and of course you can take them home and let them dry and put them in a jar. Okay, let's get some fire! Yeah, it's burning. And some... water. Yeah. Now we just have to wait for the water to boil. Yes, uh, if you pick the rose hips in uh, a hedge or at the schoolyard, make sure to pick them in the height that the dog hasn't done or whatever, you know. Yep. Ah, it's boiling! Sailing the seas of confusion emptiness is your enemy shades of grey you're fading away lost in a dream will it end I think I let it cool down for a while. Yeah, it's time for something to drink. Rose hip tea. Yes. Now let's taste it. It tastes nice, but it doesn't taste that what much. It doesn't taste that much. Maybe you could put some ginger in it. But the point is, a cup of uh, rosehip tea has a lot of vitamin C in it. Um, as much as about 35 to 40 oranges. That's cool. That's all for today. See ya. I need something to drink. I need something.